So for the people coming, it's really more amazing meeting with the Jew, Cosmo the First, or with the Duchess Eleanor de Toledo. We speak with them being in the past. So they have to respect the ceremonial, etc., etc. But we are just the mirror in which they have to look at their self. Through past, we speak about nowadays. Because history is something that has to help us to understand who we are. Starting on the idea that we are what we have been and we will be what we are now. So through this clothing, through the Duchess, we start speaking really in a dialogue with the people coming about what they are wearing. And they have to explain to the Duchess, mm -hmm. as she will explain to them why the bust, why the pianellas. Mm -hmm. huh? no. oh, yes. <laughs> the, the way to move, because with a dress like this on you, you cannot move freely as in the modern time. So I will show them how to walk, how to dance with pianellas, what I cannot do. <laughs> and starting on a little laugh, then they have questions. We hope that people going out are full of questions, more than with answer. We are not giving answer, but questions. So if you have questions, Ask me. <laughs> For example, uh, looking at the chapel, the children, they say, oh, are you, all of you are little slaves. We are so dressed in poor vestments, uh, poor clothes, uh, without color. Uh, and uh, the, the girls uh, have trousers. Uh, so yes, I can, for example, slavery. choose one. And I dress a lady like, sir, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a woman. Oh, but you are clothed like a man. <laughs> oh, no, no, not in truth. <laughs> wow. So I take a man and a lady. Show me the differences. <laughs> they are not able to answer. <laughs> if they have courage, they can start going on that we are in a society in which we are allowed to be clothed in the same way, and so on. Why the Duchess can't? And so we enter in the relationship, in the social state. We are speaking of the sumptuary laws, details of like jewels or hair net, uh, how many necklaces, how many earrings, to show to everybody who you are. And then in modern time, why you are having some uh, Nike or Adidas on you, <laughs> what does it mean? Why we you wear it, etc., etc. Many of you, oh, why you would have not a shirt, for example? We are not clean. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We are nothing white. Mm -hmm. And then we can also speak about the Florentian society, because studying on fabrics and jewels, we can speak about craftsmen and what was the life in Florence. So all studying by address, you can speak of religion, uh, social relationship, uh, uh, feeling with your body, medicine, uh, cra uh, craftsmen in the town, etc., etc. We have so many possibilities. If you so talk about hygiene and how yes. they would clean themselves. Yes. Being a rich one, I can clean myself, brushing the skin and using perfume oil, etc., etc. And so that's what I tell them. Cleaning myself in a dry way with no water. And then they ask themselves, what about the poor one? Not cleaning themselves, but changing blouse. Yeah. A different idea of hygiene. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see. It, 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 <laughs> This is a question you cannot ask to the real Duchess. Yeah. When, I, when I'm playing it or not, I will not okay, show you, you the fit. Oh. Oh. So that's you the, the, uh, 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 body. Oh, yes. <laughs> that's the reason Roberta was explaining you we are oh. using a farting ale just to speak about. Not because Eleonora was really wearing it, but, but we want to... Socks? That would be... Vabbè, ce l'hai il coso. No. Well, vabbè, so Long blouse, then you had the bust underneath. Oh, yeah. 
like oh, a wait, basket oh, of oh, stuff in uh, <laughs> the museum. <laughs> And we, we are course. careful to show the blouse here and there because this is the sign I'm clean. Yeah. Yeah. So we have seen also the Ungerina for children and so in a time that is a little later at the, the beginning of the 17th century. And uh, so, as I call it, Ungerina. And when she dresses up in front of children, we usually call two girls to help in doing the bust. Mm -hmm. oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we also speak about removable leaves. And also, of course, the... You gotta slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of <seconds. laughs> ah. So, but the aim of this uh, activity is to, is to think yeah. about the, the present. So, it is... Uh, silk, silk velvet. Silk velvet. Silk velvet. Yeah. This is the replica of the dress that we're going to Yes. Is far as... How far out and down does your partner go? How does the beating stop just because it made essentially to go with this dress? Yes, or, yes. Okay. So does the beating stop just under where you can see it? Or and then okay. <laughs> and then is it linen? <laughs> you can step nearer. Oh thank you. <laughs> so I, I I remember what I want to say now. Arena, <laughs> <laughs> the children began to, to wear busts in the end of the yes. century, not before. But we find in Guadalajara, for example, they begin to wear real bust, but not real uh, stuffed with the whale bones. So the whale bones yeah, are, are later, but with their say stuffed, so yeah. they are in mm -hmm. gothito, mm -hmm. uh, something like that. At the end, uh, near the 1819 of the century. So, but it is an important uh, um, subject to discuss uh, with the children. The children must be erect, must be educated to a behavior that is uh, 